Okay guys, it's Nan here. I'm gonna try to show you a few things about tiling because we're gonna be doing some tiling. Um, this is a piece I was making at, for Mikalo, um because he doesn't have a box. So I was just gonna make one for him and send it to him. So there's different kind of tiles Nan's used here. These are ones that we buy like at, oh, Amazon or at Hobby Lobby. Bunch of little ones and they're fun. They're kind of expensive, I found. So what I ended up doing when I'm doing my tiling is I've gone to the ReStore and watched for tiles, and then I cut them up. These ones here I had to order from New, uh, I think it was New Zealand, and they're like 70 cents a piece, so they were pretty expensive, but they're kind of special. These here are, oh gosh, I forgot the name. I'll have to remember. Um, some fancy name, anyway, from Mexico. They make them. You can look online and see. I got a whole box of them um, because they come in pieces like this and make them really cheap. Normally they're very expensive and they're lots of different colors. Um, these ones I got from a place online where you can order tiles in. Um, from um, it, for, you get uh, for for one sample like this one big one here. It's a dollar. So I cut some of those up. Last but not least, I use plates, um, and those can be really fun. Now I'm going to try to show you what you do to cut the plates. We have these tools here, they're nippers, called nippers, and then this is a cutter, kind of the same, but a little different. And um, so, and, and I learned this online, so you guys can go online and look at it too, but I'll just try to show you. If I can, because I'm doing this by myself, if I can stand it up so that you can see how I do it. Um, so basically, you take your plate. That's not working. Hang on a sec here. I'm standing up so you guys can see. Whoop. people do this. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, so you can take her the front of the back. I picked this one because I like the color and I already have some. I've been cutting it from the back. You just see how I'm just grabbing it. I don't know if you can see that. Grabbing it there and you just, so I just, and I don't cut um, where the lip goes up because I want the mostly a flat piece. And so, yeah. and, um, the other thing I do when I'm cutting these is sometimes I will cut the circle out here. Um, when the circle's cut out, then you get a whole circle uh, up for to use for something, the middle part of it. Um, I'm going to show you too how you cut these. So to cut a piece of tile because I like it square usually, I'll cut it like that, and I'll cut it like that. And I don't like the lip there, so I'll cut it um, on the lip. Cut that off. Um, here. So and then I'll use that for a piece of tile. The other thing you can do is these two. I don't know if I can open it, I will show you. And the other one you can use with these, and they take a bit more strength, I'm afraid. But sometimes I just use them to cut off the corner pieces like this. Um, whoops, that didn't work. So sometimes it doesn't too. Uh, anyway, as you can see, they take way more strength, and I have a hard time with them, so I usually don't use them. I use this, use this one, which works out a lot easier. So um, that's to show you guys how I managed to get little bits of tile, and I'll take you upstairs and show you uh, some of the boxes that I have with tile currently. This old bird house is sitting in Dad's yard. I'll probably cover it with tile. And... Um, I did just finish my tile table outside. Um, I'll take you guys out there and show you that. 
I had to mix it up with mud. Here, let me just take a walk with you guys through the garage. And this is what I mixed up. This one here is the one we're using on the cross. This one here is the one I used on the tile table. And I had to mix it up with water. This one here is what we use um, to attach. And I'm gonna send all of you what they call this grout here to mix. I did take some pictures of me grouting it, if I can show you. This is the garden that I made. Um, take you for a tour for a sec here. Um, but here's the table. And you can see, I just finished grouting it. I did a brown grout because it was cheap. And also it doesn't um, get faded and look yucky and get dirty. So you can kind of see how it looks. And I've done the edges here with um, mostly broken plates I've used here. The middle piece I bought was 60 bucks and you buy that on a specialized tile thing. These ones here got at the restore for like $3 for hundreds of them. <laughs> So, um, anyway, and you guys can do this whenever you want. It's fun. You mud it all on, stick it on, and then wipe it all off with paper towels. Big bucket, in the sense of putting in a little bucket. That's right. Big bucket. Throw it in here and we're done. Good plan. Okay. 